Meanwhile, meanwhile, yesterday's peaceful protest actually turned uh, somewhat violent as the night went on. El Paso police say two officers were injured during the demonstration in central El Paso. KTC 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela has our update from police headquarters. Well, thousands of El Pasoans marched from Memorial Park right outside of here at the El Paso Police Headquarters on Sunday. And while some say the protest was peaceful, tensions did rise. I do believe that El Paso did represent ourselves in a, in, in, in a good way yesterday. Even though there may have been some, some uh, conflicts here and there. Uh, overall, I do believe that it was a peaceful protest. Matthew Leal says he joined thousands of El Paso in Sunday to protest against racism and the death of George Floyd. It began with a moment of silence for Floyd at Memorial Park, then a march to police headquarters. It was very, very peaceful. Um, it was very, very, very powerful. There were people standing in solidarity for George Floyd, for the countless number of black people that have been oppressed for centuries in this country. Leal says that peaceful protests took a turn once it got dark and tensions started to escalate among some. 99% of the, the people that were there were there to protest peacefully, but there is no way to control that 1% or that 0.01% of people that may have been there to just uh, voice their or unleash their anger and try to create chaos. El Paso police tweeting Sunday night, quote, officers providing a safe route are now being assaulted at different locations. For Leal, the protest was not about targeting El Paso police officers. This protest was about standing against racism and showing up uh, as a people, El Paso showing up against uh, uh, racism and police brutality, making a stand. EPPD's tweet was then followed by this one reading, quote, Areas were cleared. Some in crowds surrounded officer and threw bottles at officer on motor. On Monday, KTSM reached out to the El Paso Police Department for comment and details on the incidents. PD responding with a statement reading in part, quote, Two police officers were injured by projectiles thrown by peaceful protesters. One struck by a rock, one hit in the face by a tear gas canister. An EPPD says officers only used tear gas and bean bags and that there were only three arrests made. However, these arrests were not related to the alleged assault on officers. Live in central El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.